Welcome back to Mama's Minerals. My name is Heather, and today we're gonna go over the differences, or how to tell the difference between gold and fool's gold, or iron pyrite. A lot of times we get large pieces of quartzite uh, that get brought into the store, and beautiful vein of a gold-colored mineral inside, and people hoping beyond hope that that is a vein of gold. Um, almost always it's a vein of iron pyrite, or fool's gold, and they do look very, very similar, which is hence the name, fool's gold. So what we're going to do today is go through the two main ways to tell the difference between uh, the two main ways available to us to tell the difference between gold and iron pyrite. So what I've got here is a nice nail uh, to do a hardness test and a streak plate to do a streak plate. Ugh, streak test. Streak plate to do a streak test. Alrighty, let's get started. One of the first ways we tell the difference between pyrite and gold is by their color. While they both have a really brilliant uh, metallic luster, gold has a bright silvery yellow color where pyrite has kind of a medium or brassy yellow color. And a lot of the other uh, minerals in the pyrite family like chalcopyrite can sometimes also have a brighter silvery yellow but you're gonna be able to tell the difference between the pyrites and the gold by the rest of our tests. So color is a big one. If it's bright and silvery yellow, you probably have gold. And if it's kind of a brassy yellow, you probably have pyrite. The tarnish on a piece of um, mineral can also tell you whether you have gold or pyrite. Gold tarnishes much slower than pyrite, so a piece that you've picked up in nature in its wild natural habitat, if it is tarnished, it's probably gonna be a piece of pyrite. Another great way to tell the difference between gold and pyrite is by their shape. Um, gold forms in nuggets or small flakes. You can find sheets of it, threads of it, grains of it in sand. Um, you'll also see it in veins within another rock like quartz. Pyrite, however, forms in cubes and in octahedrons, and one of the best words, pyritohedrons, which is a 12, it's 12 irregular pentagonal or five-sided faces. They're like a little tiny D&D &D dice. They're so cool. And then the other thing that you'll see pyrite in, formed in is a, uh, something called a Hackley nugget. And a Hackley nugget is an irregular uh, or jagged nugget where it looks like all the little tiny pyrite crystals have been squished together and they're making one solid piece. Pyrite can also look flaky. It can look like a flake when it's an inclusion inside of another mineral. So if you have something that has a nice uh, octagon, octagon, huh, a nice cube or octahedron or a nice um, sided shape, more than likely you're gonna have pyrite. Another really cool and interesting way to tell the difference between gold and pyrite, or gold or pyrite, is by the smell. Um, pyrite, because it's an iron sulfide, when you rub it, uh, you'll smell the sulfur coming off of the piece. Gold, however, does not have a smell at all. Using a streak test will also help you tell the difference or figure out if you have gold or pyrite. Pyrite is going to have a greenish black streak, whereas the streak for gold is a gold streak. Another great test to tell the difference between gold and pyrite is a hardness test. If you have a pocket knife or an iron nail handy, this is an easy test to do. Gold is a lot softer than pyrite at a 3 to a 4 on the hardness scale and pyrite is 6 to a 6.5. So your knife or your iron nail is going to leave a mark on your gold, but it's not going to leave a mark on pyrite. Alrighty, so those are our two uh, easy tests to do at home or in the field to see if what you found is iron pyrite or gold. Thanks for joining us today. And as always, find us on Facebook, Instagram, on our blog, on our webpage, mamasminerals.com. If you have suggestions or ideas or questions, let us know. Instant message us on uh, Instagram or Facebook. Send us an email at info at mamasminerals.com. Give the store a call, 505-266-8443, and we'll try to get your answers questioned. No. We'll try to get your questions answered. <laughs> hopefully you'll have, hopefully we'll have an answer for your questions. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we'll see you later. Thanks a lot. Bye.